Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you a little trick on how to be more efficient in Inkscape that I learned over the years of using it for making graphics. Let's just assume that we have some kind of images, a constellation of images, and for whatever reason, one of the images happens to be behind the others. So I just moved this one back behind these. So if you want to, if you know there is an image, you can just do something like select it without selecting other objects or select other objects as well and then deselect them by holding down shift. But to be a bit more exact and maybe even save some time, what I recommend is that you actually move the objects out of the way that you don't want to see to work to select the object that you want. Then you select it by clicking on it and then you hit control Z and control Z again. As you can see, the objects go back, but the selection gets saved. Now you can use the pause one or home button to get it to the front and move it around as you like. An alternative would be to use the arrow keys. With shift it's a bit faster, but unfortunately you cannot move it around like this as you will select the foreground object. Anyways, this is how you select something behind other objects in Inkscape. If you ever had to do that, maybe this little trick is useful. Basically, selection doesn't get saved in the history, so if you select something, it stays when you re-undo things, when you hit Ctrl Z. I hope this is useful. Please like and subscribe to support this channel. Hit that notification bell icon and I will see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!